We're going to be into this thing just like the 3D printer. It is over 90 Fahrenheit outside. I just got done blowing out the workshop here. We're waiting for some more parts for the TIG welder. They're supposed to be here really any moment. UPS is supposed to be bringing them, so hopefully uh, it gets here today, but I'm guessing it's going to be probably after I get this video done. <laughs> so, uh, I've had a project here that I've needed to do for quite some time, actually. Uh, I have been blessed to have a subscriber who asked me not to share uh, their name. Actually bought a Langmeier Systems uh, plasma table, plasma cutter table, and uh, sent it here uh, for me to do some cutting for him and uh, for also for uh, doing some cutting here for what we need to do. Now I got a lot of the stuff uh, pre-cut uh, for the grow towers that came pre-cut as you guys have been watching. But having the plasma table here will allow me to make any changes and do so a lot more accurately than doing it by hand uh, would allow me to do. And of course, I'll probably still have to do some stuff by hand, uh, but we'll, we'll <laughs> hopefully be able to minimize that now. So to say I'm grateful is an understatement. Uh, this is really quite nice. This is going to take me a little bit to unbox. We got majority of it here. We got some of it here. Uh, we're going to see if I can't get it built in this uh, video um, and uh, see what we can do. It, it is supposed to connect. You're supposed to be able to use my uh, Thermodynamics Cutmaster 42 plasma cutter. It's supposed to work with this. And based on what I read, I think we just got to do a, a minor modification to the plasma cutter to connect this table to it, and then we'll be off to the races. It's really freaking exciting. I think I'd be a lot more excited if the temperature is lower. As you guys know, I've I've shared with you, I'm not a guy who does the 90s very well. Any, I mean, I can handle it. I can go out and do it, but why would you want to? Uh, I'm a 70s guy. I like it the 70s. 70s are nice. 80s start to get a little too warm for me, but I can bear it up to about 85 and not be complainative at all. Uh, but then you get 90s, and I'm like, wow, it's hot. <laughs> I'm sweating a lot here today, which is obviously good for you. I've been drinking water. Let's uh, get the super sharpened knife out here and see what we got. Yeah, straps everywhere. This might end up being a multi-day project. Popcorn everywhere. It's not bad. It's not bad. Look how much was there. All right, so we got Langmeier Systems Crossfire Plasma Cutting Table, baby. That's the leg. These Hey, you guys, knock it off. This says hardware. Hey, we've got ourselves a, another piece of paper. Spread that over there. Stepper motors. Enclosures. Okay. I got the printer going in there. For those that are wondering, version 12 of the grow boxes is uh, actively printing. Been having one heck of a time with that filament. Now the white filament's a little difficult to deal with as well. And uh, I continue to troubleshoot. It's just been really quite annoying. Yeah, we're we're gonna be into this thing just like the 3D printer. Oh, these are nice labeled bags. Yeah, so it has bag numbers on it, so you know. Nice job. Promoters and stuff. All right, so we need to go get the instructions on the computer.
So the cool thing about the instructions is that they're all on YouTube, they're all videos. The uncool thing about that is if you live out in the middle of nowhere like I do and you have really bad internet, then it's not all that enjoyable. I found out that in the barn out here, even though I have the cell phone repeater, if I open the door, which exposes the outside RF to the inside, uh, I lose my repeater functionality, so I really need to keep that garage door shut. So because it's so hot, I've got it almost all the way down. Uh, enough to where I could do the job here. And now I've got internet back, so at least I can do it. And then for some reason, the internet up the house has been really spotty, which is repeated out here. When in doubt, get the Kraken out. All right. I'm certain we're gonna have to re-square this, so I'm not going too crazy. Now, we're on to these guys here. I don't want to say anything about how this is going together because I'm worried that I'm going to curse myself. You know how that goes, right? <laughs> you got a project, you're working on it, you don't want to say, oh, it's going great, it's going amazing, because as soon as you say it, something happens. And great and amazing go out the window. Who's going to win? Looks like the right, right is going to win. Step one, done. Come on, buddy. We're getting really, really serious now here. Time to start getting to the hard stuff, I think. Oh, the little things. This is when it really slows down. There we go. She snapped into place that time. Motors are happening. We're motoring right along. <laughs> ah! I installed it from the wrong side, but an easy, simple fix. Well, there's uh, day one of the assembly. Uh, I haven't been out here all day. I think I've probably spent, what, four hours on this, maybe five hours today assembling this. Uh, I still have the water tray, which I think you have to take these things back out and reinstall the water tray, because that's an add-on. Subscribers, awesome, who sent this again. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. We've got machine alignment to do, we've got wiring to do, uh, and we're not gonna get that all done tonight. 
obviously it's dinner time here because the cows are going crazy and uh, I can feel it that I need to go eat. It's been hot, so hot today. It doesn't help that right behind me is where the air conditioner heat vent comes out. So I'm literally standing right in hotter air than even outside. Yeah. But anyway, that's life. So hope you enjoy this video. We'll have part two of this uh, coming up tomorrow. We'll get it all done and maybe we'll even get this thing fired up. I think I got some learning to do though on the software and everything. Uh, so we might have to uh, skip a few episodes, get back to hopefully everything showed up today. I haven't seen the big brown bus show up, uh, but hopefully our TIG welding supplies came in so we can get back to doing the grow towers. And we've got a grow box on the printer right now. It's been printing all day. So tomorrow it should be done and hopefully we can get some more parts printed. So I think I'm using my time efficiently. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Don't forget to uh, ring the bell so you get notified when I put up new videos. If you'd like to follow us, you can do so on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. If you really like what we're doing, you can help us out for the cost of less than a candy bar per month by joining us over on Patreon. In the meantime, this is Real Martian, out.